What's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Well, if you guys remember the paddle boat uh, video, I have a new lower budget uh, paddle boat. Um, it involves just a couple of uh, water bottles and a two liter uh, bottle of whatever you can find. And it's just one of those things where it's a little less expensive and there's just gonna be more that you have to uh, do to get it cut out. So if you want to see how this is made, you're going to have to stay with me. Okay, so all I did was I took a two liter bottle of soda here. If I were to do it over again, I would have made the cutout um, a little less severe here. I would have left the lid on a little better here because I'm afraid this part's going to have an issue of taking on water. And then all they did was I just took a hot glue gun and I put two of these water bottles on the sides of this two liter bottle. And basically what I did from the paddle boat, I kept everything the same. So again, that's the simple design. And you just fit this right inside like so. And no, I haven't tested this out yet so that's kind of my first job is to test this out but that's all that I'm gonna do is just rest it in there and you're right it gets a little nervous um, with this thing taking on water but that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and test this just to see how much this might be taking on water and adjust it from there so let's take this out and test this in the tub so I have went ahead and filled up this tub this is actually the tub that my Lego EV3 brick had submerged in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the test of this going into the water. Hey, not bad. And we'll take a look at the front. The front's doing pretty good. What's nice is the brick sits far back, so it'll kind of uh, lift the front up, so it shouldn't take on that much water. Uh, so let me hook into my Commander app. Let's, you know, give it somewhat of a test, making the motors run. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try not to get too crazy in here. Whoa. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. I mean, if we were to take this to the pool, I think this would do okay. I thought I might have to put something on the front here but it looks like the brick keeps the front from taking on too much water. Oh, shoot. Okay. Careful, it splashes. I know, it can't get too crazy with this thing, huh? Maybe it's a good thing I don't have bigger paddles because if we'd have bigger paddles, we'd get bigger splash. So it looks like this cheaper, low budget version of the paddle boat looks like it's a success. All right, awesome. So the new and improved lower budget uh, paddle boat worked really well. Again, it's just um, hot glue to keep those two water bottles off to the side there. Again, another tip, I wouldn't cut the front like I did. I probably would have kept the nozzle on and just made the cut maybe right here. Just enough to get um, this in. And again, let me just show you how easy this was to make. We got a 15 hole beam, two of the picture frames, 12, uh, size rods or axles 
Um, I got 15s on either side. Um, some of you said I'd get better pull action if I put more paddles on here. You are correct. I just, again, I'm not in my class yet. It's still summer. So you are right. I definitely could make these paddles a lot wider and get better digging action into the water. But as far as just, you know, with limited access and resources, this thing was really cool. And again, it just sits right inside here. And for more precaution, yeah, we could probably figure out some way to cover the brick uh, to get, um, you know, if we don't want to get a lot of splash on it. Um, figure out maybe something to do in the front here. Maybe put, get out another two liter bottle and cut out a part in the front here so it just keeps a lot of the water from flowing this way. But other than that, very, very good, very successful. Okay guys, so hopefully you liked the new and improved, well, I don't know if it's more improved than the other paddle boat, but it's definitely a lot cheaper. For those of you that don't wanna buy a 10, $15 um, organized tub, if you don't have some water bottles and a two liter bottle laying around, this thing um, will work good enough for you. Okay guys, so um, as your summer continues, hopefully you're enjoying these cool water um, robots. And yeah, very cool. So maybe you can give this a shot. Definitely try to keep your brick away from the water or from going under the water, okay? Okay guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.